the concept of tahniq because before we have several ahadith that al-ansar and al-muhajireen they used to bring their children to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so he would give them names would call them names and he uh, would name them and would also do what is known as a tahniq a tahniq is a prophetic practice is a sunnah once the child is born and medically it is proven to be very efficient mm. uh, it stimulates the taste buds in the mouth of the baby and so on the first uh, child to be born in the muslim ummah according to the hadith of asma and it's collected by imam bukhari uh, is abdullah ibn zubair ibn al-awam so he did tahniq to him anas ibn malik uh, he brought his uh, younger brother uh, to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the son of abu talha in order to uh, do tahniq to him so tell us uh, a little bit more about the method that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to do tahniq with well, the prophet sallallahu alaihi whenever the child is brought to him uh, in one of the narrations he asked for a tamra he asked for a date mm. and the date was brought to the prophet sallallahu alaihi that means the prophet sallallahu he chewed it so that it's soft and then he moved it inside of the mouth of the child you know going around the mouth from the inside of the child and this is basically what a tahniq is mm. and uh, whether it's a, a good date that would not you know cut into pieces because we don't want to do this or uh, you know as long as the juice of it is the first thing that the child would have in his mouth this is what the we prophet know that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is full of blessings no. so his barakah but uh, would any of us do the same wallahi we should do that definitely for our children inshallah because he stated that as a sunnah right 